What's going on YouTube? Back at it again with the 93 Record Coupe build. Now, in this video, it's just going to be an update. Last video I left you off, I uh, installed that header, the high-end header, and I also did that uh, F20B crankshaft uh, pulley. Um, about that header, made a huge difference once I added the whole exhaust. Now, I did a 3-inch exhaust. A lot of people like to do 2 and a half. Um, I actually did 3 inch, probably lost a little torque, but the upper end is kind of ridiculous right now. Huge difference. Um, especially after I added that, uh, that muffler, I had to run an uh, open header for like 2 days, which sucked. Then I got it welded, the k -tel er, yeah, k Teller mandrel bent, um, got it all welded up, and then the Pexi World Sport 2 did not want to fit. Um, Anyways, so I ended up getting a vibrant, uh, vibrant muffler. It's a stealth one with three-inch inlet. Anyways, now um, in this video, you're probably thinking, "Whoa, what the heck? These guys, 2,000 seeds? Yes, I do. Just like my wagon. Now these ones actually have the optional speaker in it. Now it's pretty cool. I got those wired up. Um, now it's pretty easy. Now." One of these days I'm going to make a video um, explaining how to get these mounted up in uh, 90 to 97 Accord. It's fairly simple, um, you just got to know how to weld or have someone weld it for you. And in this video I'm going to be uh, kind of doing an update on what the exhaust is and things like that. Now it's a high end header H22 comes back to a ultra silent uh, vibrant resonator 3 inch K telemandrel bent and then it ends it with a um, vibrant muffler now it's not very loud um, it is 3 inch so it's a little bit louder than you would expect it's kind of hard to make 3 inch uh, actually quiet but this is actually pretty quiet so I'm gonna start it up really quick show you how it sounds probably shaking like crazy because of those ESP motor mounts but we're right there a little cold idle at uh, right above 1k quiet not bad at all nice and healthy Anyways, this weekend I plan to do a video, uh, maybe a how to tune up your daily or something like that, a little oil change, and a SDK uh, oil filter, because you can run those on these and uh, bump up your, your oil pressure just slightly, about 2%. That's always good, right? So, anyways, S2000 seats, there they are. Those optional speakers. Right in there. They're missing a piece right here. I'll have to find that off someone. And the rear is gutted for the most part. And so is the very back. Now, I'll be redoing the whole interior, but these are blue for right now. Anyways, so it's a little update for you. Not really much going on right now. 
Um, like I said, I'll be doing a video this weekend, doing a little update for you guys. But there's the exhaust. Pretty quiet. Do maybe a little two step for you and then shut it off. Anyways, this thing just spins second. Pretty sick. Anyways, got also the Dunlopes on it. Dunlop, Dunlope, I don't even know how to pronounce it. Anyways, they're all right tires, they're not bad. I really like my S-Drives, but these are a little bit stiffer compound. It's a lot easier to turn without power steering. And yes, I do put stuff on top of my car. It is a daily after all. Anyways guys, um, got a lot of stuff planned so keep updated on it and uh, keep following the build. Um, maybe share the video with one of your friends or something like that. It's, uh, it's always nice to see it grow a little bit. And it's always good helping out uh, fellow CB7 guys. So like, comment, subscribe, do what you gotta do, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.